Question 100, leak code, same tree. So given the root of two binary trees, P and Q, write a function to check if they are the same or not. Two binary trees are considered the same if they are structurally identical and the nodes have the same values. So with this question, it's going to be a recursive solution. So what we need to look at is we need to create some base cases. So with any recursive solution, we have a base case and we have the recurrence relation. So what the base case is going to do is it's going to pop us out of this recursive call stack, otherwise we'll enter in an infinite loop. Okay, And the recurrence relation is what's going to get us closer and closer to the base case after each kind of recursive call. So we need to define some base cases and we need to define the recurrence relation, right? We're checking to see whether these trees are the same. We need to check whether these nodes are the same and then we need to split it in two afterwards and check whether these are the same and also whether these are the same. And then we'd split these in two. So it's more of a divide and conquer approach, okay? Let's consider these base cases. So in the most basic tree you can think of, we have P is equal to null and Q is equal to null. These are the two trees, both equal to null. So if they're both equal to null, we can simply define this and say return true. However, what if one is not equal to null and the other one is? So say one is equal to null or Q is equal to null. In this case, we can return false. So that's another base case sorted. Now let's work out what would happen if the values were the same. We can return true, right? And if they're not equal to each other, we can return false. So these are the three base cases we've got. So we've got this one where P is equal to null and Q is equal to null, we can return true. If P is equal to null or Q is equal to null, we can return false. And if P.val is equal to Q.val, we can return true. And then with the recurrence relation, what we need to do is we need to check both the left trees and also both of the right trees. So we need to do two recursive calls. And then what we need to do is we need to create that recurrence relation. And in order to do that, we need to do two separate recursions. One that checks the left subtree of both the trees, and then one that checks the right subtree of both the trees. And with these base cases in place, it will carry out the check within both trees. With respect to time complexity, we're going in the worst case scenario, say all the values are equal to each other, like in this case, we have to iterate through each individual node of both P and Q. So it's going to be O P plus Q. And then space, space is just O1 because we aren't allocating any extra space. Okay, so let's, let's write out the solution. So we need the base cases written out. So in this case, it's going to be P is equal to null and Q is equal to null, we can return true. If P equals null or Q is equal to null, then we can return false. Then we check the values of both P and Q. So if P.val is equal to Q.val, then we can carry out the recurrence relation. So we can carry out these recursive calls both down the left subtree and the right subtree. So we need to return this because we want to return a value whether it's true or false. So is same tree p dot left q dot left is same tree p dot right q dot right. And this will create that recursive leap of faith. Else what we're going to do is return false because if p dot val does not equal q dot val then return false. Let's give this a try. Submit it. And there you have it.